Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the general considerations that we need to take while designing the any component. Okay, so we will discuss the few points like uh, where we need to concentrate. Okay, so first point is type of load and the stresses causes by the load. Okay, so we need uh, while designing the component, so we need to uh, aware about the uh, means uh, which type of load coming on the product okay or any part so on the basis of that we need to design the part because this part uh, uh, while functioning it may uh, means it should be withstand all the loads and the stresses okay so we need to consider which type of load is coming on the product and if any st stresses are there that we need to avoid okay so the second one is the motion of the part or the kinematics of the part. So the motion of the part is nothing but the that part I suppose is, um, is having some uh, mechanism like uh, it is a rotating part or it is a reciprocating part. So that motion we need to take into the consideration and based on that we need to design the part. Okay. And third one is the selection of material. So the selection of material plays a very important role. Okay. So the material selection. So it means uh, it depends on the which type of process we are using, where the part we are means functioning. So all the points while selection of the material. So this is a very vast area where we uh, where we need the expertise uh, to select the proper material. Okay. So generally uh, while designing the part we, we will take the previous reference of the component okay. So the same reference we will take from in the previous reference we will take and we will choose the same material why because that uh, the previous reference is actually working in the, uh, means functioning in the that uh, uh, area like uh, in this type of load and the motion that uh, reference part is already in the working and performing uh, performing well in the condition so because of that we are generally choosing the reference material like uh, suppose uh, for the previous cast I means uh, casting bracket we have used the uh, aluminium so in the uh, new uh, in the uh, while designing the new components also we will choose the aluminium because it is already performing in that condition so that's why we generally prefer the reference okay so the selection of material is also plays a very important role and suppose you are working on the new product uh, product development so at that time the selection of material plays a very important role so here you need to follow the reverse engineering okay for the new product development so you need to check the complete power under the load and the material uh, is that material is suitable for that product or not that we need to perform okay we need to take the number of iteration okay so next one is the form and the size of the part okay so suppose uh, uh, the small part and the big part so so based on that the manufacturing process will be decided okay so the size of the part is plays a very important role okay frictional resistance and the lubrications so uh, um, so during the working so we need to take the frictional resistance or which type of lubricant we are using to avoid those friction so that also we need to consider convenient and economical features so while designing the any parts or machines so we need to uh, uh, means the required features that we need to accommodate in the design okay so there should be no undercuts in the design and minimum molds we need to use and the easy so that part should be easy to manufacture so those feature we need to add in the design so the, that our design should be manufacturable and uh, cost effective and the convenient for the uh, load condition and the operations okay and next one is the use of standard part so this one is a very important points where it is related with the cost 
okay so so we need to use the maximum standard part okay so the standard parts are easily available and we don't need to design and uh, we don't need to uh, uh, take the prototype for that part uh, so we will save the cost if we use the standard parts okay and generally uh, while using the standard part try to use the common parts throughout the assembly suppose i'm using m12 bolt so you need to try to use maximum m12 bolt uh, not like that where you, you are using m12 bolt m6 bolt m8 bolt and m12 bolt so like that. so number of parts you uh, so you should commonize okay so you should use the common part as as means uh, uh, as much as possible okay and next one is the safety operations so this one is also very important point as it is concerned with the safety okay our safety is the first so we need to take the safety consideration for the operator for the customer or for the final user okay we need to take the safety consideration also so generally the factor of safety uh, that term we use uh, while uh, designing the component okay or the machine okay so here is the workshop facility so we need to well aware about the uh, which machine we have uh, at the uh, miss uh, uh, miss factory or that the workshop which machine we have which process uh, we already have okay so on the basis of that we need to design the uh, component or we need to manufacture the component okay because it will save our cost if you go to for the supplier and for the different machines then uh, they will cost more okay so try to utilize as much as possible if you i mean say uh, uh, suppose you have the diff I means uh, two three machines so you need to try to utilize those machine okay don't go for the means uh, uh, different machines that you don't have okay so for that you need to miss uh, if you uh, if you are designing such a part and you know for that purpose you need to go to the supplier then they will cost and uh, it will delay in the product uh, manif uh, miss uh, final product uh, so try to use as much as possible your asset only and the next point is the number of machine to be manufactured so uh, how much quantity of uh, means quantity you are manufacturing that also plays an uh, important role okay so uh, how much stock you are keeping in the uh, factory so that also plays a very important role okay and the uh, most important is the cost of construction okay cost plays a very important role so all these points cost is our first uh, means uh, uh priority okay cost safety okay so these are the uh, first priority okay where we we, we need to try to uh, miss uh, use the minimum cost to design the product or to uh, design the machine okay so try to use the minimum cost okay so final is the assembly okay so assembly is uh, so where we are means combining or uh, joining the different parts okay and forming the unit or we can say machine okay so we, which type of assembly process is where we have means uh, we need to decide the assembly sequence which part will come first and which uh, there will be the sequence of uh, assembly that we will design at this stage um, is decided at this stage and also the assembly which type of assembly means so we are using bolt snap feed for the plastic parts or the different assembly like uh, riveting which type of assembly process we are using and the which type of tool we are using okay to tightening the bolt or uh, so here we need to as much as possible we need to use the same tool to tightening the uh, um any fasteners okay so here we will consider all those things okay in the assembly process okay so friend that's all for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel so these are the general considerations okay that we need to take in the considerations okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video